Hello world, welcome to the 222nd video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. So this video is another one in my troubleshooting videos and it's one of my more popular playlists. But uh, it's not really a troubleshooting video, it's more of a workaround. And so for the past couple months, I've been creating my own dividend tracker and you can watch the very first video here, but before you do, um, that code no longer works, just one portion of it. And that's because I use Yahoo Finance to directly pull from its API uh, the next dividend day and things that Y Finance, the kind of ubiquitous uh, library for pulling stock information, doesn't have that information. So I was getting it directly myself but Yahoo and other companies are trying to block free access to their API and their data so you can buy third party. And so my overall goal is to automate everything, of course, with the digital assistant. And one of them is to get the dividend information. And I also pass that dividend information to my tax estimator. And you can watch that video, a basic tax estimator here, or the intermediate level one if you're more familiar with taxes here. And so this is really important to me. And so if you have been using Y Finance, you might have gotten this error in your pie charm. But if you've been pulling the URL directly like I did in the code, and I'll show you real quick. So this was the video, the URL that you saw in a video right here. This is the base URL that I was using to get information. Um, when we put, put that information in there, let's change that to version 10, you would get this invalid crumb code unauthorized. And that's even after putting in all of this headers information. So depending on when you've seen your Reddit posts or your um, Stack Overflow posts that show, hey, make sure you put headers, uh, it's not going to work either. And so if you have any kind of code that has a, an exception to this, it'll just pass right over it. And so other Stack Overflow and even ChatGPT recommend scrolling through the versions. And so a common version is version 6, which causes this error right here. We'll be right back. And if you think, well, I'll just wait until they fix this, just know that I've been waiting for this for months. And so what we're going to have to do is do two different things. To get the current price quote, we're just going to use Y Finance. It is okay for getting the current price. And then for getting the annual dividend and the next dividend date, and the next dividend date is the most important that I want, uh, we're going to just web scrape the data. And so you can watch a simple web scraping video here. And um, that pulls from, uh, sorry, I know this is going fast, but Seeking Alpha right here. And so we can uh, put this URL in here, take out the symbol, and do Apple. And what I'm doing is scraping this dividends right here to get this amount and the next uh, payout date right here. So that's the, that's the day I want and this is the amount I need. And that's what I'm doing here is I'm web scraping it and you can watch that video. And so now what I can do is I can go to my this Excel sheet, and I'm not going to go through this code because I already gave you, uh, you could watch the, the video here, but it's going to go to this Excel sheet that I have and look at this right here, shares held, and it's going to find all the dividends for that. And then it's going to create a Excel sheet for us. So let me get rid of this so you guys can't see how the quantity and my portfolio value. 
So uh, then we're going to save to Dividend Data YouTube. Okay, so it's going to go here, pull all the symbols of it. Again, this is in my web scraping video. Right here, up to driver. And then just like the very first dividend data YouTube I did, it's going to go through the, the symbol. And then it's just going to go yf.ticker. That's how you pull the just the current price. And we're just going to get the amount. So this is Y finance right here. And then we're going to take the current value equals the current price. And if the market's closed, you'll get a key error. So then you want the previous close. Or for mutual funds, because mutual funds recalculate what's called a net asset value. And it's the next day. It won't have this current price. Then we take the current value times the share count, which right now I have defaulted to one. Then we're going to try to get the dividend rate or the last dividend value times that by the share count and that will give us the annual dividend. And then we have to, you can ignore this, I have a mutual fund and this code does not get mutual fund data yet. But let me skip down to here. So let's say we're at Apple, then it's going to web scrape from what I just showed you, this NASDAQ. Oh, I showed you Seeking Alpha. Let me show you this right here. This is what I'm actually pulling from is NASDAQ. So it looks the exact same. All the websites are the same, but um, let's go Apple here. Here we go. So I just want this right here, the payment date and the cash amount. So that's what I'm pulling from right here. So payment date, the amount. Again, I went through my web scraping video so you can see it. Uh, then we just change it to the month. And then the code is pretty much the same as uh, the dividend tracker code. And so my mouse is going crazy. Then we change the data frame and all of this is just like my dividend tracker videos that you can watch. And so we're going to run that and it's going to save all that data into a file called Dividend Data YouTube. So I'm going to run this and then I'll it's going to take a while because web scraping takes a while. I have time delays and then we'll come back when it's done. So now that the program has finished, it went through all those stocks with a quantity of just one uh, because I, like I said, I reduced the quantity of shares that I hold in all those companies just to hide my portfolio. And then it saved it into a file called uh, Dividend Data YouTube. So let's see if we can uh, pull that up real quick. Dividend Data YouTube. And then it's going to look like the previous videos. And so what we have here is the current value of each of these stocks and mutual funds, why, why finance can pull this. And then the annual dividend. And then if it's a dividend paying stock, it has the pay date here. And so this current value is from Y finance and the annual dividend and pay date are now from web scraping. So that is my workaround. That is the whole basis of this video. And then later on in the code that you can watch in the other videos, I take the annual dividend, divide it by four if it's a quarterly, and then if it pays out in February, it's going to pay out in May, August, November, etc. And so that's the Excel sheet I use. And what I use that for is I've created a dividend app using Flask and or Platly Dash, Dash sorry. Plotly Dash, wow, 
And it takes that Excel sheet and creates something like this. This is kind of my financial dashboard. Um, since I pulled the, I don't know why January and February shows this, but since I pulled all the quantities to one, yeah, you can barely see it because I have the axis starting at zero dollars. But now my total portfolio value, if I have one share of all those companies, is five thousand two hundred and nine dollars or two thousand ninety two dollars. Uh, the estimated dividends again, I don't know why January and February jacked up, but if I made two thousand dollars, that would mean I have a forty one percent yield, which is not the yield I'm getting on my real portfolio. And the next dividend payment will be for Prudential at 14 March 24. And then if you're this is if you haven't seen the other videos, uh, I play an online game called Albion Online. I haven't created the dashboard yet, but anyways. And so that's it. So that's the workaround. Um, the bottom line of this whole video is that I'm using Y Finance to pull the current value. And then I'm just doing normal web scraping to get the annual dividend and the next dividend payment. And just in case the cards didn't show up throughout this video, I'll put links in the description to the first dividend app video, which will link to the others. So you can see how I built all this. And then I will also link to Selenium on how to how I was doing the web scraping to get the NASDAQ information. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please su consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and comment with your favorite dividend paying stock. And thanks for watching. Goodbye world.